everyone, welcome to Flyer Sussex Flower School online tutorials. It's lovely to have you uh, join us today. Um, I'm going to be showing you how to create a foam free table runner. This design, I think it always looks really beautiful when it's done and quite spectacular, but actually it's relatively very simple to create. So the first thing that you're going to need is you need to collect um, sort of a lot of foliage. So if you've got access to any um, eucalyptus or um, I'm trying to think what else, any kind of nice, um, quite hardy types of foliage and you need to have quite long bits. So I'm going to start off with these sticks here, which, um, which if you've got any of these, that's great. But anything that you can get that isn't going to wilt, have a good feel of it, make sure that the leaves aren't too soft. And then simply you're going to get your, your table and you're going to start to place your material onto the bench, onto your table, overlapping it to create essentially your mechanics for your runner. Okay, so you're going to put some going that way, some others going the other way, and so that they join in the middle. Okay, you're going to need quite a lot because you want to make sure that there's enough going on on your table so that you can slot um, bits of flowers and foliage into it. So something like that is great. And then I'm going to add to it. So I've just taken um, some little clippings and I'm going to just add these branches into it. Some blossom here. It won't, blossom doesn't last a huge amount of time without water, but for now it will look pretty. So let's pop it in. And you just want to build it up so you've got lots of texture, but making sure that you're putting it in so you're going this way and this way as well. to you how tall you want it. Okay. And you just want to keep building it like so until it's all, all in place. So once you've got your mechanics and you've got some branches and things on your table, you then want to take your flowers and start to add. So I'm going to start off with the dahlias. And what I should say is if you were doing this for an occasion, you would need to fill up lots of test tubes and then pop your flowers into the test tubes like so and then just pop them in. And then what will happen after a while, we can then cover up all of the test tubes with all of the different ingredients. But for my demonstration, I'm not going to bother putting them in water just because I just, it will take, take a bit too long. So, but definitely if you're making this at home for a special occasion, everything will need to go into water. Only things like carnations can sort of survive without water for a period of time. Or if you're using um, anything that can dry easily, like gypsophilia, that can also um, survive without water. 
And when you're putting your flowers in, you just want to make sure that you, there's a nice fluid movement of flowers running all the way down. and start putting them in. And with your lighter flowers, so things like heliobores, you can actually sort of pop them up so they're actually standing up. The slightly heavier flowers are not going to like that as much, but definitely with your lighter weight ones, you can just start popping them in so they sit up. And essentially what we're doing is we're just creating a floral meadow for inside Put on your table. Just going to keep building, using quite a pretty colour palette. But it's definitely nice to have different textured flowers. one to do as well which is always which is always nice some tulips use the use the base to hold them up tutorials and I, I really do believe that I think bringing the outside in, bringing colour in to your house is really important at the moment. So this is a lovely display to kind of achieve that. If you've got a birthday or you're celebrating something special or you just fancy having a nice table, it's a really lovely one to do. like any garden you want to have some flowers that are um, that are tall some that are short the idea of, of this is very natural very in keeping with the garden
bottom here. So I'm going to leave it there, but there you have it, there is my um, phone free table runner. If you're interested in knowing about how to sort of continue styling your table, then do check out the other tutorial um, on our website all about um, table styling. Thank you so much for joining um, me and I hope this has given you some good ideas to try out at home.